Hey LinkedIn, another Sales Navigator video here and we are going to look at intent data and buyer intent within Sales Nav and uh, look at this through the Account Hub. The Account Hub is a useful place just to manage everything in one, uh, in one place and it can start to give you some uh, potentially useful buying signals uh, as to who to target with what messaging and what your uh, target clients and target organizations are interested in. Um, for me, I can see this being particularly useful if you're managing large organizations, complex organizations, especially if you've got a strategic account manager role and you're trying to drive that cross-sell, upsell, and you want to get your arms around the entirety of the organization, this is where Sales Navigator can be super helpful. The other angle I can see this in is if you're running industries, uh, so an industry territory uh, again to get this set up to work for you so without further ado let's get into the uh, account hub and start to work through all the filters that uh, you've got and what this uh, what this means so we have um all companies obviously it's all companies starred if you've starred them then uh, those are the ones that appear at the top on your um uh, home page uh, upcoming deals if you have got it synced with crms the salesforce or dynamics for example you can then start to pull through your upcoming deals which could then start to help um, look at the buyer intent and the category intent within those upcoming deals that you um that you have uh, the moderate or high buyer intent this is looking at a number of key uh, key factors but fundamentally, it is things like uh, visits to the company page, i.e. Your, your company page on LinkedIn, uh, the target organization visiting profiles of yourselves, your colleagues, uh, employees, uh, engaging with ads if your marketing team is serving uh, ads. And if you have, or rather your marketing team or your website team, have got the LinkedIn Insights Tag Manager on the website, it'll start to serve up very high level website visits are happening and here is the persona of those people that are visiting um, uh, websites. It also starts to bring in category intent, which you can see is in, in beta, which is relatively new-ish. Um, they're quite coy about how they're doing this and they are clear that the algorithm is learning and will, will um, uh, improve, forgive me, over time. But you can edit your category intent here. So I've got CRM, sales intelligence software, and sales training software as, uh, as an example. So what this is now doing is starting to narrow down for me the people at my target organizations or on my accounts who are expressing buyer intent or interest in these products and uh, products and services. As I said, LinkedIn is um, being coy about how that is happening. However, it can start to help narrow down the type or who, not type, or who you potentially should be um, talking to or targeting. Because what you can then do from uh, from here is if you click on the employees, so this example here, click on 91 employees, it shows you 91 are expressing interest here, 40 in CRM and one in sales training. If I then click on this, this then fires up a new screen of those 91 people and then you can use the varying filters which i've shown in other videos of how to find out what's the shortest route to a conversation with those um uh, with those people could be via team link could be through an own uh, own connection you can see who's posting content on linkedin and you can engage uh, engage that way and then you have um, growth alerts is basically if they're hiring and then risk alerts typically is if people are um, uh, people are leaving in terms of um what's happening. So again, growth or people leaving, depending on whether that might be of interest to you or um, uh, or not. So the account hub is is an interesting one in terms of where they're, where they're drawing. I think use this in buyer intent and the category intent with um, with care, but I can certainly see the direction of travel that it's, uh, that it's going in. And the other aspect is if you click discover new accounts, it'll then fire up, hey, these accounts you haven't saved, but they meet the criteria you set up from a buyer intent perspective, maybe it's worth you um, uh, considering. So it'll be interesting to see how this develops. Uh, let me know in the comments how you're using it, whether you're having any success or not. Um, but I think it's got use and it can certainly help you have a slightly more targeted approach across uh, your accounts or your uh, industries.